follow me to the bridge. Donaldson, also known as Mr. Beast, is a YouTube star, entertainer, philanthropist, and entrepreneur. One of the most viewed and highest paid content creators has made an amazing journey to fame, which we will tell you right now. Mr. Beast, how the content creator who gives away money lives and how much he earns. James Stephen Donaldson was born on May 7, 1998 in the U.S. state of Kansas, but spent his childhood in North Carolina. His older brother Charles is also a YouTuber who goes by the nickname CJ these days. There is no information about the guy's parents online, but sometimes they flash in Jimmy's videos. For example, in the video, How I Gave Away One Million Dollars, his stepfather and mother appear. In the ninth grade, the teenager was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, which is a bowel inflammation. Before he was diagnosed, he had suffered daily severe pain and lost 300 pounds in one summer. Donaldson uploaded his first YouTube video in February 2012 under the nickname MrBeast6000. At the beginning of his career on the platform, the young man released a variety of content, from Let's Plays to videos in which he assessed the wealth of other YouTubers. Jimmy himself appeared in front of the camera extremely rarely. In July 2013, his channel, then called That Dude, had about 240 subscribers and videos averaging about a thousand views. For several years, Donaldson had no success trying to figure out YouTube's algorithms, creating content that he thought would attract the largest audience. And finally, in 2015, James began to gain popularity thanks to his series of videos called Worst Intros, which ridiculed creators' introductions to their videos. By mid-2016, the number of his subscribers approached 30,000. Meanwhile, Donaldson graduated from a private Christian school and entered the East Carolina University by the end of the same 2016. But after two weeks of studies, he dropped out to devote himself entirely to his YouTuber career. The mother did not approve of this and forced her son to move out of the family home. Mr. Beast later said that she did it because she wanted him to succeed. As the channel grew, Jimmy recruited four of his childhood friends, Chris, Chandler, Garrett, and Jake, to develop and scale the project. Looking ahead, Jake left the team in 2020 and afterwards, Carl, previously a cameraman, took his place. In January 2017, Mr. Beast posted a video in which he counts to 100,000. The stunt took him 40 hours, and some parts were spent up to make the video not longer than 24 hours. A month later, he uploaded a video titled Counting to 200,000, Road to a Mill. According to the creator, it also had to be sped up because the full 55 hours were over the limit. After these videos went viral, he finally found something that YouTube's algorithm liked. Mr. Beast began to quickly gain popularity with stunts such as attempting to break glass with a hundred loud hailers, watching the paint dry for an hour, and attempt to stay underwater for a day, which ended in failure due to health problems, as well as a 10-hour watch of Jake Paul's It's Every Day Bro music video. By November 2017, the number of subscribers to his channel reached a million brands started cooperating with Jimmy. The first of them, the quid service, gave our hero $10,000. Mr. Beast gave this money to a homeless man, and the video he created about this, as expected, attracted the attention of the audience. Then, he received even more money from sponsors, and by 2018, donated a million dollars through his vlog, which earned him the title of YouTube's biggest philanthropist. However, not everything went smoothly. In May 2018, American journalist Taylor Lawrence criticized Jimmy's tweets and jokes in which he was making homophobic remarks. When the journalist contacted him for a comment, he stated that in no way did he want to offend anyone and immediately deleted all the mocking tweets. In March 2019, the creator organized an offline tournament with a prize fund of $200,000. And in November, he surprised the public with the opening of a free bank in which he gave away money for nothing. 
To do this, he rented the premises of a real bank, asking his friends for the role of cashiers, placed a billboard, and replaced loan agreements with answers to simple questions like, what equals 4 plus 4? For a while, the YouTuber set up an analog of an ATM, a cardboard box in which one of his friends was hiding. Anyone could play rock, paper, scissors with the ATM and, if they won, receive several thousand dollars. And if there was no luck, they could give it a good kick and still get the money. By the end of the day, the free bank ran out of cash and our hero was forced to close it. However, the generous guy was soon accused of handing out fake money in this video. He explained that he used fake banknotes to avoid security issues with the participants, but later they all received 100% of the desired amount. Users also discovered fake money in a video where Jimmy gave $20,000 to the first homeless person he met. The creator explained that he used fake banknotes for security reasons because real cash could cause too much excitement. Later, he handed the man real money. That same year, Donaldson was reported to be dating Instagram model Maddie Spidell. According to Mr. Beast, they met on Twitter and went to see a stand-up show on their first date. After a while, some tabloids wrote about the couple's plans to get married in the near future, but these were just fictions. By the way, Maddie has appeared in some of Jimmy's videos, such as Surprise My Girlfriend with 100,000 Roses for Valentine's Day, I Spent 50 Hours in Solitary Confinement, and I Adopted Every Dog in a Dog Shelter, in which he and Maddie got themselves a pet named Pinky. It is not known when Jimmy and Maddie broke up, but now our hero is dating Thea Boyson, whom he first mentioned in a video on his Beast Reacts channel. In October 2019, Donaldson co-hosted a YouTube fundraising event with former NASA engineer and creator Mark Rober for the Tree Planting Arbor Day Foundation. The goal of the project, called Team Trees, was set to raise $20 million by January 1, 2020 and plant trees no later than December 22nd. The campaign was supported by over 600 public figures. Donations are known to have come from YouTube stars such as Jeffree Star and PewDiePie, as well as from entrepreneurs Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey, and other rich and successful people. The organization planted one tree for every dollar collected. On December 19 of the same year, the $20 million target was exceeded. But the collection of funds did not stop there, and today, thanks to the donations from people all over the world, Team Trees has raised more than $24 million. By the way, last year the goal of planting 20 million trees was also achieved. In April 2020, James hosted a charity event online, Rock Paper Scissors Championship, which was attended by 32 eminent content creators. At that time, it was the most popular live stream on YouTube. Initially, the winner had to distribute the prize fund in the amount of $250,000 for charitable purposes, but on the stream, viewers replenished the amount up to a million. All funds were donated to the World Health Organization. In June, Mr. Beast collaborated with Brooklyn-based art brand MSCHF to release a one-time multiplayer mobile game called Finger on the App. Players were supposed to touch the screen of their phone, and the last one to remove their finger would win the prize. In the end, four people won $20,000 each after spending more than 70 hours on the app. The game was so successful that Part 2 came out on March 21st with a top prize of $100,000. The winner kept his finger on the screen for about 51 hours, and the second place winner received $20,000. In September 2020, the Beast Philanthropy YouTube channel was created. In the first video, Donaldson talked about the good deeds of his team and announced the food bank. According to the channel's description, 100% of advertising, brand deals, and merchandise sales go to charity. In October of the same year, Jimmy held another tournament with content creators and streamers. The online show, this time in the format of a trivia game with a prize of $300,000, was played by 24 participants. Meanwhile, our hero became a nominee for the 2020 Streamy Awards in four categories at once, having received awards in each of them. This includes the Team Trees project and the video titled, Giving $1 Million of Food to People in Need. At the end of December, the Advantageous Guy, along with a food delivery app, launched 300 Mr. Beast burger restaurants in the dark kitchen formats. These were delivery-only kitchens. How much food have we given away? A lot. I'm going broke! You could just charge people money. Get out of here!
He suggested we charge money for the food. No! Get out of here! Go! I don't ever want to hear you guys talk about charging again. He created a huge buzz about the launch. He rented a diner in North Carolina and handed out free food, cash, and iPads to visitors. During the promotion, there was such a long queue that the police had to restrict traffic. Donaldson gave a new car to a visitor who had an accident during the traffic jam. At the end of 2020, Google, due to a tough year, canceled its 10-year tradition of releasing YouTube Rewind videos with a quick overview of the most popular videos summing up the year. The Creative American took the initiative and on January 1st, 2021, released the video, YouTube Rewind 2020, thank god it's over. Meanwhile, Donaldson claimed that he was running his main channel at a loss. Soon, he signed an exclusive deal with Jelly Smack to manage the distribution of his video content on online platforms such as Snapchat and Facebook. At the same time, Jimmy stated the following, The bigger the Mr. Beast brand, the bigger impact I'll be able to make for people in need, so everyone wins. In February 2021, he appeared as a guest on the Clubhouse app, causing it to crash from an influx of users. In May, 11 former employees of the YouTuber accused him of creating a hostile work environment and making unreasonable demands. The publication also states that Donaldson's behavior changes when there are no cameras around. Because of this, one of the employees quit after working with him for a week in 2018. While noting that the YouTube star is a terrible perfectionist, after that, the guy began to receive threats from Mr. Beast fans, and the team members refused to comment on this. Jimmy himself once admitted that he strives for excellence in his videos to such an extent that in 2020, he refused to publish several videos that he spent a lot of money creating. In the fall, Donaldson and Mark Robert launched another joint project on the video hosting platform called Hashtag Team Seas. The YouTubers have attracted thousands of content creators, raising more than $33 million. All donations go to nonprofit organizations and are intended to clean up oceans, rivers, and beaches from plastic and other waste. Also, Mr. Beast posted a video in which his team, along with volunteers, cleans up polluted beaches in the Dominican Republic. At the peak of the Squid Game's popularity, Jimmy posted a breathtaking video recreating the trials from the Korean TV show, only without the violence. The show was attended by 456 strangers completing tasks in the same sequence as the characters of the show. Six minutes remaining! Uh, I'm doing this for the girls! Oh, no! Let's salute all the fallen people! All right, continue. Under five minutes left, tons of jumps. This is gonna get intense. For every test passed, the losers received from two to $10,000 each. The winner received a $456,000 award. Mr. Beast's video, on which he spent about $4 million, became one of the most viewed videos on YouTube. In 2021, Mr. Beast's channel surpassed 53 million subscribers, and opinion polls have shown him to be one of the most popular YouTubers on the platform. In January 2022, Forbes magazine named him the highest earning YouTuber. According to the publication, our hero earned about $54 million in 2021. Meanwhile, Donaldson announced the creation of the food company Feastables, which began to produce chocolate bars under the brand name Mr. Beast Bars. The launch of the project was accompanied by a lottery with prizes in the amount of more than $1 million. Allegedly, the new brand has become even more profitable than his chain of fast food restaurants. In June, he released a video where he built a Willy Wonka chocolate factory and invited 10 lucky people who could find invitation cards in his chocolate bars to pass a series of elimination tests. There's four toilets behind me, three are real, one's made of cake. Whichever person picks the cake one is eliminated. So if they're right, they're wrong? No, they have to be right about the wrong one. Renowned cuisine guru Gordon Ramsay acted as judge in the final dessert competition and the winner chose a half million dollar cash prize instead of the chocolate factory. At the end of July 2022, Donaldson's main channel surpassed 100 million subscribers, making him the fifth channel and second individual YouTuber to achieve such success. Early in November, Mr. Beast was recognized as the most popular content creator in history, and the number of his subscribers exceeded 123 million. He also got into the Guinness Book of Records for the number of subscribers among men on YouTube. By the way, the previous record belongs to Jimmy's idol, the Swedish content creator PewDiePie. 
At the end of the same month, Forbes presented the 30 under 30 list, which included Donaldson becoming the first YouTuber to appear on the cover of this respected magazine. The influence of the YouTuber on the media is so great that his image even appeared in the famous online game Fortnite. In the summer, our hero shocked his fans with solid numbers that his food delivery app had earned. He noted that he shared more than $100 million in revenue with other restaurants across America. Soon, the first full-fledged Mr. Beast Burger restaurant was opened in New Jersey, and as usual, the event caused a stir. The status of the YouTuber is so great that the famous German film composer Hans Zimmer wrote the music for his experimental video called I Survived 50 Hours in Antarctica. Mr. B started 2023 with a good deed. The YouTube star paid for cataract removal for thousands of blind and visually impaired people who needed surgery but couldn't afford it. The video shows patients undergoing surgery in Jamaica, Honduras, Namibia, Mexico, Indonesia, Brazil, Vietnam, and Kenya. The YouTuber has also made cash donations and other gifts to some of them. Jimmy Donaldson can afford such lavish gifts thanks to six-figure brand deals. He also receives monetization from YouTube and additional income from Twitch, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and the sale of NFTs. Mr. Beast has never disclosed detailed income statements, so we can only guess about his earnings. According to some reports, at the beginning of 2023, his capital was about $70 million. The data on his monthly income on YouTube vary. Some sources write that they range from $118,000 to $1.9 million. Others suggest that Mr. Beast earns at least $3 million per month from YouTube ads alone, excluding brand contracts. And his annual income from the video hosting platform is estimated to be between $1.4 million and $22.7 million. For example, in 2020, he earned $24 million on his YouTube channel, sales of goods and sponsorship with brands such as Microsoft and Electronic Arts. In addition, in March 2021, Donaldson, in partnership with the Creative Juice Financial Network, introduced a $2 million investment fund for content creators. In April of that same year, he became a long-term investor and partner in the fintech company Current. Jimmy is also an investor in the tech startup Backbone, which launched a content creation app of the same name and makes a game controller for iPhone. However, there have been some scandals. For example, the YouTuber received backlash after his fans lost large amounts of money on a cryptocurrency scheme that Donaldson invested in and promoted. Mr. Beast has a management company, Night Media, which is based in Dallas, and his expensive YouTube videos are mostly funded and sponsored by the coupon company called Honey. According to Forbes, as of December 2022, the highest paid YouTuber in the world has a fortune of about $500 million and has a chance to become the first YouTube billionaire. Our hero can afford to live in luxury, but what exactly his house looks like is not entirely clear, since he doesn't expose his property to the public. It can be found online that Jimmy lives in a mansion in North Carolina, which he bought in 2019 for $2.1 million. However, in a video called I Broke Into a House, Mr. Beast says that this apartment belongs to his father's colleague. He is also credited with owning several luxury cars. He allegedly owns a Lamborghini Huracan Spider supercar with a top speed of 200 miles per hour and previously owned a million dollar Lamborghini Gallardo. In addition, according to unconfirmed sources, he owns a Tesla Model 3 electric car as well as a BMW 3 Series and a Nissan Armada SUV. However, there is a publication online in which the generous YouTuber claims that he lives in a studio, doesn't have a mansion, and doesn't drive an expensive Lamborghini. On the My First Million podcast, Donaldson shared that his unremarkable workplace is outfitted with a PC and a gaming chair, and the walls are adorned with quotes from successful entrepreneurs. Moreover, he invented some of the phrases himself, but attributed them to Elon Musk. As for the cars, Mr. Beast gives them away in his videos more often than he buys them for himself. From the very first earnings from his project, Jimmy began to popularize charity. Whether it be donations to homeless shelters, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, or a local animal shelter in Los Angeles. As revenue increased, the king of viral videos gave away thousands of dollars to small streamers on Twitch and YouTube, as well as waitresses and Uber drivers. How would you manage your money if you were Mr. Beast? I don't know why these are on my wall. So do me a favor and subscribe because I promise whatever's in your sub box will be at least kinda sorta good. Love you guys, see you later.
If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.